Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to import Pivot to Windows Live Movie Maker on Windows 7 slash Vista. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is click on the, the first link in the description. So come up with this page and you just want to download this. So just click download. And then I, you can run or you can save it, I prefer to save it. So you're going to save it to your downloads. Yep. I'll replace it because I've already downloaded it. So you're going to let it download. It's a really small program, it's only 7.0 megabytes. So you just close that, and then you're going to shrink your net, open up, go into your downloads, and there it'll be. So you just right click and install that, or you can just double click it. So once you've installed that, you're going to go into your start menu and type in Movie Maker. And you're going to get this, and you're going to right click, open file location, and you're going to just right click, and then create shortcut, and yes you want to be put onto desktop, and then that'll be your shortcut. The reason I told you to do it that way, because I've tried it, just type in movie, movie maker, and then doing a right click and then create shortcut sent to desktop but then it just says error something something really so once you've got that you're gonna need your you open up your pivot so open up your pivot and then you're gonna make a small animation or whatever you want okay so then you're gonna file and then you're gonna save animation and you're gonna choose it as a animated gif dot gif file and you're going to save it as whatever name you want to save it as save it and you'll get this and you want to untick merge and resize to 100 and that's the best for YouTube if you're going to upload to YouTube click OK saving animation then you're going to close down your pivot no and then there you go it's there so if you double click on that you can uh, as you can see it will not open up it'll just give you a simple picture so this is where Windows Movie Maker 2.6 comes in. So you open up that, and you can import a video or import pictures, it doesn't really matter. You can choose which one, in, which one of them, or you can just drag and drop it into there, let it import the files, and you'll get that. Just drag it onto your movie line, and then click there, press play, and then you'll get your animation. Then you just want to file, and you're going to save the movie file, and then uh, my computer, then next, and you're going to choose where you want to save it, you can browse and then choose whatever you want to save it. Next, and then next. I've got it saving to my desktop so I can find it quick and easy for use. Right, and then you can have it play once you're finished, but I'm not going to do that. Just close that, and then close that. No, you don't want to save it. And there you go. And now, you can open up Windows Live Movie Maker. And now all I need to do is drag and drop it onto it and there you go it's a piece of cake if you want to add sounds you just drag and drop the sounds so I'll open up some sounds pivot sounds and I'll have a let's have a Mario right and we'll have we'll drag on this one in so I'm just going to put it onto my desktop just now close that drag and drop it into add music then just play and there you go that's how easy it is to import it to Windows Live Movie Maker anyway thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe